Okay, I am back. This is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful beginning of their week. I hope they're feeling better than I am. Uh, a little exhausted here, but you know, I'm here. Which is uh, more than I can say for my brains. Um, what the fuck am I doing? Um, take the figurine. Oh, tell Colin your plans for Skipper and Lance. Where the fu who the fuck is Colin? Is Colin the... Shit, dude, I don't know who the fuck Colin is. I'm, like, totally forgot. Colin. Is he one of the dudes in the club? Is he, like, the, the, the chunky guy in the club? Chunky guy's probably bad nomenclature. Um, that one kid from the equestrian club was hanging around in the science lab looking sad. I bet a prank could cheer him up. Don't get me started on this ridiculous student council institution indoctrinating young minds into the cult of democracy. Uh, I think I might agree with you on that one. Principal says I can't hang out in the club room any anymore. I guess that's just the way it goes. It's just the way that it is. Some things will never change. Um, I think it's so admirable how you're always running around to help people out. Well, thank you. That was sweet of you. Um, what's going on in here, guys? Same thing? Same old, same old? Since the young monarch has got destroyed, I've been putting my energy into painting instead. That's good. That's good. Um, science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. You know Kant said that. Did he? Emmanuel Kant was a real pissant. It was very rarely stable. I digger, I digger, was a boozy beggar who could thank you under the table. David Hume could out consume Schopenhauer and Hegel. And Wittgenstein was a beery swine who was just as slosh lost as Schlegel. There's nothing Nietzsche couldn't teach about the raising of the wrist. Socrates himself was permanently pissed. Um. I lost myself there. Monty Python flashback. John Stuart Mill of no, on his own free will on half a pint of shanty was particularly ill. Plato, they say, could stick it away. A half a crate of whiskey every day. Aristotle, Aristotle was a bugger for the bottle. Hobbes was fond of his dram. And Rainy Descartes was a drunken fart. I drink, therefore I am. Okay. Huh? I told you, pig. We didn't take your so-called property. Search me again if you want. You won't find anything. I have to say, it's not very fair of you to accuse some uh, us of something like this, sir. Even though it's true. We've been doing nothing but participating in the mandatory club activities as requested. Yeah, your fascist tournament. Watch your tone, young man. You've already you're you're already the prime suspect. I'll be searching anyone who I think might be carrying stolen goods. Thank you very much. Oh, um, hi, Principal Enfield. Hmm. Alicia. No. I'd be careful hanging out with a thug like that if I were you. I wouldn't want a bright future like yours to be ruined by some pointless rebellion. What the heck was that all about? <laughs> well, Jacob and I may have sort of taken a figurine from his office when we broke in there yesterday. Oh! What? You stole something? Our club's already under attack and you think we need to be mo in more trouble? I'd expect something like that from Jacob, but you, Alicia? Aww. I know, I know. <laughs> in her defense, it was actually mostly me. But dude, that thing is totally weird and just out of place, like the tournament. It's absolutely a clue. A clue, you say? Don't you start. Maybe. Maybe we can just put it back without Principal Infield even noticing. That's possible, right? <laughs> Negative. Jacob is correct. This figurine is an artifact of great significance. Scarlet foresaw its appearance. Alicia, serious matters are afoot. 
Seek me out when you're ready to chase these forbidden mysteries. Ooh. Yeah, don't return it. Then we definitely get caught. Plus, the thing is, uh, the thing must be a linchpin in Enfield's whole operation. I can feel it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to engage with this whole psychic conspiracy thing. In fact, I'm going to pretend you never told me about that figurine. Go on, some mystery adventure if you want. Just don't get our club into trouble. In case you forgot, we still have the snowball tournament. We need to focus on saving the tactics club right now. Plus, we still have our CNC campaign to play. You, wouldn't you think he'd put the friggin' campaign on hold right now with all the bullshit that's flying around? You'd think they would. Whatever. That Gestapo interrogation harshed my mood. I'm gonna go chill for a bit. Let me know when you want to play. Jeez. Well, I'll be here. Someone has to keep preparing for their next... next battle. Whenever you're ready, Alicia. I'm good to get the next part of the campaign started. Okay, well, what do we got here? Side quests. Tell Colin your plan for Skipper and Lance. Okay, let's do that. Colin! Hey, Alicia, what's up? Hey, so you know those two bullies you're always messing... who are always messing with you? Skipper and Lance? Unfortunately, what about them? I had this weird idea of how we could get them to leave you alone. It's a little crazy, though. Hmm? I didn't think you'd be recommending a revenge scheme. It's not revenge, it's just... well, listen. You seriously think that'll work? They're not dumb enough for that. Think about who you're talking about. Hmm. Alright, why not? It's just like they could pick on me... Uh, it's not like they could pick on me more if it doesn't work. It'd be nice not to have to worry about keeping my cool around them. Lord knows it's stressful enough with everything that's been happening in our club. Great! I'll just pick up what we need from the backstage area of the auditorium, and then I'll meet you by where they hang out. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Hey. <sighs> so let's head for the um the admin building. That's right. Let's get that uh, outfit. In we go to the backstage. So, oh, costume rack, there we go. Let's see here. Aha, this is perfect. Exactly what I need. Now I just need to meet Colin over where those bullies hang out. Don't think I didn't see you take that, Alicia. I will allow it this once, since you've done so much for the student body. And also because we're not allowed to put on any Shakespearean histories anymore after the incident. What incident? Did like, the, like they have Hamlet go awry or something? Okay. To the stadium! And... Hey, Jania. Alicia, I have an important quest for you regarding that artifact. Uh, a quest? Like a CNC quest? Exactly, like a CNC quest, except in the true world. Scarlet has devoted her life to the study of strange artifacts and their unearthly resonance. She's normally here at the stadium, but she appears to have wandered off. Find her, take the tiny plastic statue to her, and she will read its aura. You seem pretty gung-ho about this. <laughs> Absolutely. The fate of the very school is at stake, friend Alicia. Okay. Hey, bullies. How's it going? Bully, 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 bully. Um, hey, Skip, look. It's that nerd. I bet he's got some books. Oof. Oh, forgive me. It seems you dropped this really solid gold crown. This real solid gold crown, your majesty. Shh, Alicia, you know I'm here in secret. 
While we're at this school, no one was, must know that I'm secretly the heir to the throne of... Bulgordia? What the fuck is Bulgordia? If anyone found out, they'd never stop asking me to grant them favors using my excessive power. I would never get any work done. We must continue to pretend that I'm some kind of helpless nerd. Oh, of course you're... Uh, Colin, how silly of me to have forgotten a thousand pardons. Uh, hey, Skip. You remember what you were saying earlier? Yeah, yeah, I remember. You think maybe, maybe we should get out of here? Yeah, let's vamoose. Vamoose? Who the fuck says that anymore? I am honestly almost disappointed how easy that was. Maybe they'll just move on to bullying someone else, but I don't know. Maybe they've learned something? We can only hope. At least they won't be bothering you for a while. And hey, this thing might come in handy again. Nice. Yield walled, real solid gold crown. Stun hammer slam becomes thundering Thane hammer. A magical attack with chaining. Ooh. Well, that's one less thing to worry about at least. Thanks for the help, Alicia. Even though I still can't believe it worked. But it did. Okay, let's take a look at that power. That sounds really neat. What is he using now? Basic attack gives plus two tactic points. Now let's um let's do that one. Chaining hammer. Extra attack is definitely kinda good. Okay, so let's do side quests here. Cause oh wait a second, I can't look at that in here. Still a side quest in the stadium. Why am I, uh... Is it her? Um, oh, hello, Alicia. I was doing nothing suspicious. Well, now I'm immediately suspicious. What do you have there? Wait, are you still detectiving? Isn't that not allowed since your club got disbanded? A technicality. A case of the witching hour doesn't fall within the principal's jurisdiction. Our involvement is deeper than a mere club activity. Still, the principal doesn't seem too sensible about this. Wouldn't it be safer not to? Hmm. hmm. Your concern for my well-being is admirable. Very well. I accept your kind offer. Ah. Wait, offer? <laughs> I see that you two have cleverly noted the loophole in the principal's decree. Although I, as a former member of the Psychic Detectives, can no longer pursue my sleuthing, you are under no such injunction. Oh, oh uh, I don't know. I cannot move, but all the same, my actions build this land. I rise above my famous name inside the four I stand. Uh, this sounds less like a hint and more like a riddle. Are you giving me a riddle? <laughs> I can say no more. Be off, Godspeed. The fork. Okay. So now I know what that quest was. It sounds like every time I like hover over something, it sounds like somebody's doing like some weird karate gesture or kung fu gesture or something. Okay. What's going on here? Hey, you. One of the girls on campus told me I was creepy. That's crazy. I got a ton of witnesses who will vouch for me. Nah, dude, you're pretty creepy. Listen, I'm so mad about losing I could spit. Uh, don't spit, dude. But I know this tournament wasn't your call. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where Jania wanted me to go, but what does she expect me to find here? These look like some kind of horoscope riddles? Looks like an enumerated list to me again. When Aquarius is in the fourth chamber, the white lion shall turn the scorpion gold. This is Jania's thing, right? She'll understand what it means if I bring it back to her. Yeah, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, I guess. Um... Hey, Maisie. That's them. The New Wave Appreciation Club. How did they get over to that part of the quad? I don't know, but it looks like they're having a meeting. If we can watch, that'd be some valuable intel. 
What? Aww. Drat. I can't see anything over this wall. Colin? Jacob? Anything? Hmm. I don't think so. Wall's just a little too high. I knew I should have gone with through with my plan and take every brick. What? I knew I should have gone through with my plan to take out a brick every day and see how long before people noticed. I could try and put you on my shoulders. That sounds dangerous. Maybe we can find a stepladder or something. Hmm. I think there was maybe one with the theater props in that backstage room where they keep the costumes and stuff. I can go grab it. Oh yeah. Okay. Sounds good. We'll regroup back here once you have the stepladder. Okay. I guess I gotta intel that. Anything back here? Can I go back here? Okay. To the annex. Just when readers were getting sick of Snowpocalypse headlines, there's breaking news. Apparently, there's a thief on our campus. Honestly, it's a little sad about all these clubs disbanding. I was really looking forward to getting some good group shots. Hey, don't you usually hang out over by the stadium? I sense an aura of pernicious evil lurking around this campus. I am attempting to track it down. I see you've brought me an artifact of knowledge. Mm, I guess, um, just don't ask where I got it. Oh, great spirits, let the streams of past, present, and future flow forth through me. Uh, you're not summoning some kind of eldritch force, are you? Because I'm not really here for eldritch summonings. Shh, the artifact speaks. This object was the source of great strife. This object is the source of great strife. This object will be the source of great strife. I see a room in the past. I see a fight, long-time friends torn asunder by a dark force of jealousy and hatred. I see suspicion, paranoia, persecution. I see a dark force rising in the world. I see, oh no. I see, ah! Scarlet, are you okay? This is an object of overwhelming power, Alicia. You must guard it very carefully. Darkness approaches, and only a flickering candle flame remains to hold it back. If it's really that bad, shouldn't I do something with it? What course of action does your intuition demand? I don't know about any of this. So maybe I should learn more about this figurine. Who is this pyramid guy even? I guess I guess I could go to the library, see if I can look up any information. Then so you must. Your actions will determine our future, Alicia. Okay. Looks like her actions will determine our future. So away we go. Let's go get the ladder from the stadium. Oh, wait a second. This isn't the right place, is it? Uh, does she have anything else to say? <laughs> hey, Janya, I found some Zodiac Rizzle. Oh, yeah, I forgot I found her riddles. Hey, Jana, Janya, I've... Jan... Jania? Hey, Janya, I found some Zodiac Riddles. Were these what you were looking for? You don't need me to solve these two, right? Uh -huh. Excellent. I thank you. These notes provide conclusive proof that the one you're attempting to communicate with... No. These notes provide conclusive proof that the one attempting to communicate with an astral entity was none other than the mayor. Next step of this mystery surely awaits me at the town hall, since that's not on campus. There's no rule preventing me from following it myself. Um, is there anything else you need help with? I have given the matter deep consideration, and I will not ask you to assist any further. <laughs> you must focus your energies instead on the vital work of the Tactics Club. Aww. I, I appreciate that, but I don't know if I would call C&C &C vital exactly. I mean, 
I think it can help people, but we're not out solving mysteries or rescuing people from danger or anything like that. <laughs> Nonsense! Tactics Club is crucial and sensible training. The world is full of those preparing to protect civilians from fire, wolves, or other danger. Wolves? But who else will they turn to when they need to fight trolls, space wolves, or other supernatural forces of evil? Space wolves? Uh... Tactics Club provides its members with important experience and a unique skill set. Never underestimate its value. I personally have become much improved as a person since joining it. Thanks, Jania. Um, upgrade for Jania. Power Word Preserve. Gain Power Word Preserve. Limited ability that gives an ally plus one damage and a second attack if they KO an enemy. That's interesting. Okay, didn't I just change abilities? Oh, that's a uh, Jania ability. What does she have now? Confused enemies deal plus one damage to their allies. That's not going to be as important as having a second attack if somebody fucking offs an enemy. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, looks like we're fighting the New Wave Appreciation Club, and we're in the winner's bracket now. Um, let's see... I have a feeling that we won't be fighting the Animal Identification Club. Probably the future veterans of foreign wars. Future veterans of foreign wars, really? That's a weird one. Football team, Sunday Funnies team. And I wish I could play, place bets on these. I'd, I'd definitely put $5 on the football team over the Sunday Funnies Club. Um, and of course the Snowball Warfare Club is going to beat the shit out of the student council. And I don't think the Animal Identification Club stands a chance, so I'd probably win me 15 bucks. Okay. Uh, backstage at the auditorium. Always want to make sure I'm doing the side quests first since they give me special abilities usually. Oh man, my sinuses are killing me today. No idea why. Excuse me, Mr. Bowtie. Hi there. Sorry to bother you, but have you seen a stepladder around here somewhere? Dude, it's right behind him. Why would you say that? Uh, who's asking? Uh, me? Then you should know. I've just been made Master of Props. It's a respected and ancient duty. Uh, ancient? Maybe historical, but I doubt ancient. I can't just let anyone borrow a stepladder. Then there would be a stepladder shortage crisis. To prove your valor, you must first slay ten mountain lions and bring me their pelts. Oh my god, not a, not a fetch quest. Wait, why? That's terrible. Forget it, I'm not going to hurt any mountain lions. Aw, oh, man. Then how are we going to get the costumes put on cats? Looks like it's waiting for Godot for us again. That's some weird references. Unless, is there some other props you can give me? An eye for an eye, a prop for a prop? Oh, I guess I have this Spirit Week poster I made. Does that count? Oh, nice. My little poster. It's amazing. This sets the exact right atmosphere we're looking for. Everyone will be so excited. This is going to be the next best waiting for Godot ever. Um, glad to hear it's all yours. Waiting for Godot, what the fuck kind of... Give me a sec, that's confusing me. I have to look it up. Waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot is a play by an Irish playwright, playwright Samuel Beckett in which two characters, Vladimir, Vladimir and Estragon, engage in a variety of discussions and encounters while waiting, awaiting the titular Godot who never arrives. Waiting for Godot is Beckett's reworking of his own original French language play in Attendant to Godot and is subtitled in English only a tragicomedy in two acts. Oh, I've never seen this. Interesting. Then again, I'm not a huge play person. 
but I tend to consider myself somewhat educated in those things. Sometimes, anyway. Okay, so. Oh, glad to hear it. It's all yours. The stepladder is yours. Thanks. Oh, shit, that was easy. So. Spy on your opponents in the quad. Poor little crush boy over there looking all sad. Okay. Do 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 do. I'm so tired. Oh, nice, Jacob. That's definitely the New Wave Appreciation Club. I heard they had stupid hats. I've never even heard of them. Are they a new club? I think they used to be the Disco Must Die Club, and then Disco died. Shh, they're starting. That's funny that our music for the day is disco. Anyway, weird coincidence. Our first order of business is an urgent matter that club member Joey has brought up. Joey, you have the floor. Thank you, Siggy. The matter is this. Are the talking heads new wave, or are they more art funk? Um, dude, talking heads were one of the first new wave bands. Don't get me started. Can I bring up that I hate these hats? Um, dude, don't knock the Devo hats, seriously. Even though they're kind of not Devo hats. They're like some weird, like, offshoot of Devo hats. Club member Ripper. There will be time to discuss the club uniforms. Now, do you have an opinion on whether the Talking Heads are New Wave? Television is the only real New Wave band. Excuse you? Now, can I talk about the hats? Why doesn't Baphomet have to wear one? Because your entrails would make a fine sacrifice, and it's never too early to stop. start preparing for Sam Hain. Oh, weird. Wow, she's really mean. That's some valuable information, I guess. I'm sure we can work with that somehow. This is boring. I'm out. Man, she's in a bad mood, even for her. I'd really hate to be in the quad right now, am I right? Uh, information is fully gathered. Scatter! You scouted the New Wave Appreciation Club. You'll get a bonus for... Knowing to avoid Baphomet. Okay. So, I need to research the figurine. I need to play Colin's campaign chapter. Let's do figurine research first. Ugh. There's something so weirdly familiar about this thing. Haven't I seen it somewhere before? Scarlet says something about trusting my into my intuition. I guess this guy looks kind of like some kind of ancient god or idol. Maybe he's got pillars and stuff. Maybe I should try and find a book on old mythology. The card catalog said mythology is in section 9.4. Uh, what are you doing? Is it true that Scarlet is really good at figuring out an object's past by looking at it? It's a little like that show where people take old junk to see if it's secretly worth a lot of money, but with emotions and conflict instead of money. Interesting. Uh, no, 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 no. Palindromes. Okay. I think that's in the back, isn't it? And 710. 9-3. Ah. This is it, section 9-4, mythology. Ah, ah. This is an old CNC catalog. I guess you could file that under mythology. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't Jacob say he saw that figurine in an old CNC module ad? Ah. Uh -huh. Let's see, here it is. The gatekeeper of of, of Elez, Elem, Elemazar, Elema, Elemazar? The gatekeeper of Elemazar. The very first 
year, Curses and Catacombs was released. Okay, finding out stuff, finding out stuff. Um, well, uh, I hope everybody's enjoying this story so far. This is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. We're currently playing Wintermore Tactics Club. And I hope you're enjoying it all. Uh, remember, you can give us a follow down below if you do like our content here on uh, Twitch. We do stream Monday through Thursday currently, noon p.m. to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. That schedule is changing soon, so uh, expect it to change. And of course, I always keep it updated in my uh, in my Twitch schedule. So if you if you go to my about or my schedule on my about page, you should find that information in my Twitch and see what my current schedule is. Um, if you can't catch our schedule, you can always watch our videos after the fact over on YouTube. Give us a subscribe, like, and uh, notification button, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Our music for the day is Bird, a wonderful uh, Japanese uh, funk disco uh, band. I'll uh, be back after this short music break. Enjoy, and um, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> 